What is up guys and I'm back with just a quick little discussion video just to answer a question that I get all of the time and that is Matt where are the compact smartphones um, you know why aren't there any you know phones more geared towards uh, people who have smaller hands and why are the phones so big uh, these days so if you look at your average phone you're looking at you know a phone like the OnePlus 7 Pro here uh, with like a 6.67 inch display and then I think your like average average phone usually doesn't get any smaller than like you know Galaxy S20 what is this like 6.45 inches um, so yeah phones are pretty big these days if you went back you know just a few years ago um, you would find you know tablets around that size around like that 7 inch that would be like a you know like a normal size tablet um, I think back in like maybe 2015, 14, stuff like that. Uh, so phones weren't always this massive. You got phones even as big as like 6.9 inches, which is really like, you know, that's up there, you know, to tablet size pretty much. Uh, but the reason why, and I wanted to talk about first the Galaxy S10e. I got a lot of questions. Why, why the, was there no successor to the S10e, which was a great question because uh, the phone itself was uh, pretty good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this phone sold. I'm, I'm assuming it wasn't a flop um, because I never saw any negative, you know, feedback about the S10e. But Samsung did not continue with this phone uh, with the um, S20. Um, you didn't get a. You get. You didn't get an S20e or an S21e. Uh, they just sort of stopped with this one, uh, which I thought was strange because I thought this device was really good when it came out it was basically you know an S10 the flagship version the bigger version just smaller but to me I'm assuming people are moving away from using their desktop and they're using they're moving away from tablets so I think a lot of people who had Android tablets and maybe even iPads don't really use their tablets like that anymore I think the smartphone has really become like the you know one device for all if you really think about it now we have phones that are a little bit more powerful like an LG V60 that will give you that dual screen or you have the uh, what do they call that phone the uh, Galaxy Fold 2 uh, that really is a phone that's you know slash hybrid so I think the phone is becoming you know a replacement honestly for a laptop a tablet and stuff like that um, with the iPhone I think Apple is the only uh, manufacturer with that's making phones that are small but the funny thing about the iPhone 12 is that if you see the headlines, they were calling the phone a flop, pretty much. Uh, which I think I don't think the phone is, itself is bad. The problem is it's competing with this phone, uh, the iPhone SE, which is like four hundred bucks. This phone is like six hundred bucks or something like that. And uh, yeah, so it's competing with this phone, and this phone has pretty much is pretty much on par as far as speed wise with the twelve mini. Um, which is interesting camera quality wise you're getting roughly around the same you know kind of image quality now you know a lot of people on YouTube would be like you will try to hype you up on it but really you're getting the same kind of quality if you are indeed a point-and-shoot person which means you know you're just taking your phone out point click oh that looks good you know you're posting on Instagram that this phone is perfectly good for that um, but again it's just a single lens and uh, you don't have an ultra wide the 12 mini does so there's there's little things and plus the design on the uh, SE is a little bit older but this phone wasn't considered a flop and this phone was Apple cut production like a lot so um, we, there's a debate even if um, Apple's going to continue with an iPhone 13 mini I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see a 13 mini at all so my question is do you guys mind would you guys like to have a compact smartphone um, does the idea pretty much turn you off because it seems like there are a, a you know a small group of people that want it because obviously if if enough people didn't want it they they wouldn't come up with the the 12 mini so there's some type of demand for a compact smartphone now I think Apple could have did this phone better by getting rid of face ID the notch is just the notch is too big on this phone for this size I said that when I first got it touch ID needed to be in the power button and this needed to be gone completely and that would have given this phone I think that would have made this phone more attractive because it would have looked better and then you would have had like this really compact phone with a more full screen 
uh, design. So I think Apple kind of dropped the ball design wise with this phone because it's too small for video. Cause if you look, like it's not, it's not that it's too small for video. Like it's kind of hard to describe, especially if you come from a bigger phone, you're gonna want on a small phone, you're gonna want all of the screen. Like e even if they went with a punch hole, like on the S10e, the S10e's viewing experience is fine. But I'm saying with the, um, I'm saying with the, with the experience on here, like, Wait, so guys, today we're comparing the iPhone 12. Like it's already like this, and then it cuts off the screen. But I don't know. It's 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 up to me. I I got used to it after a while, but again, it's it's something you have to play around with. Um, but yeah, how do you guys feel about that? Be sure to let me know your thoughts. Um, because it seems like there aren't going to be any more compact smartphones, especially if they don't make another version of this. And the SE, you know, what is that going to look like next year? Are they going to keep making it? Or are they going to keep rehashing this design? Uh, so I'm, I'm really interested to see like the future of the compact smartphone space. So what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.